oftentimes as a, as a culture in America, we're sort of excited, titillated even, by the idea of a kind of a revolutionary or radicalism. It just seems um, exciting, shocking, all the images of Che Guevara, for instance. Um, it's cool. Uh, somebody like Lupe Fiasco says that Obama is the biggest terrorist. I fight against terrorism. To me, the biggest terrorist is Obama in the United States of America. The root causes of the terrorism is the stuff that the U.S. government allows to happen. You know, and the, the, the foreign policies that we have in place in different countries that inspire people to become terrorists. Mm -hmm. Somehow that just sounds really cool and um, sort of uh, productive in a way, but I think it's interesting to sort of break that down and think about whether or not that really functions within a kind of a discourse that will make people take those claims seriously. We um, look at people like Immortal Technique and DMX and Dead Prez um, in the class, and these are people who are, are speaking the truth um, they are definitely oppositional. They see themselves as sort of radical opponents of um, kind of a dominant um, idea or culture in the United States. And yet, uh, I think very often they're sort of ghettoized. They're put to the side. This is socially conscious. This isn't something that we really want to dwell on or that's even worth thinking critically about, certainly in an academic sense. Um, and that something like MIA's Paper Planes, for instance, at the end of the song, she says, MIA, third world democracy. MIA, third world democracy. Yeah, I got more records in the KGB. So, uh, no funny business. And yet in, in an earlier song, in Bird Flu, where she also has children singing behind her, um, she flashes images in the music video of the Tamil Tigers, which is the group which supposedly her father was once a member. And I think that kind of thing is taken as, um, as opposed to sort of a serious attempt to get people to think about what's going on in Sri Lanka, or some idea that she's truly invested in a kind of an opposition to a dominant regime. It's taking more as who who does who is MIA to be speaking about this? What is what can she possibly bring to the table? And in fact, uh, many critics in Sri Lanka are frustrated because they feel that in so doing, she only makes things worse. She aggravates situations. She really doesn't know what she's messing with or getting into. Due to the propaganda, when you think Tamil, you automatically think tiger, and that is completely disproportionate you know so human beings like around the world have to be taught to go Tamil equals Tamil civilians first mm -hmm. and the Tamil Tigers are a separate thing that's kind of it in a, in a nutshell like Tamils make up 20% of the country and they're getting wiped out and I happen to be one of them I feel like people either love me or hate me which is good because that was the point of what I do like I wanted to become a musician and help like some sort of change or stand up for what I believe in or use music for what it's supposed to be for, you know. Mm. And Paper Planes, I think, is one of those songs that did that. <laughs> Everyone con constantly asks me what it's about and mm. they're like, are you a terrorist? And it's like, no, yeah. you know, it's like that has nothing to do with it. And it, it could be about, you know, gun corporations selling guns and making billions of dollars. Or it could be about immigrate, you know, immigrants coming over and being like the scary other that's going to take mm -hmm. everyone's jobs. And, you know, I kind of want to leave it ambiguous for mm. my fans. In Kanye's video, Diamonds from Sierra Leone, the official music video, um, the lyrics he uses really have nothing to do with conflict diamonds. He's talking about his, as he always does, his rise to fame and how he didn't fit in and how now he's able to wear Yves Saint Laurent sunglasses. And so there's a, a, a tension there between the claims that he seems to be making in the video, which he produced and, and helped to conceive, um, with regard to what was going on in Sierra Leone, but also really with regard to race, not only in a Eurocentric kind of way, but specifically in the United States. Oh, I hate the way 
They betray us in the media. If you see a black family, it says they're looting. If you see a white family, it says they're looking for food. George Bush doesn't care about black people. Appearing on the cover of Rolling Stone with the crown of thorns, he, he plays with a lot of it. Does he have serious intent? Um, that's absolutely possible. I think that uh, sometimes these people uh, want to sort of do it all at once. They should know they hand it because they ain't got no space. Oh. My whole team got dough, so my bank account is looking like millionaires bro. Yeah. Life's a game, but it's not fair. I break the rules, so I don't care. We oftentimes want to see people with political messages walk the walk. Oh, 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 oh,